Hello, fellow drinkers. As you know, every alcohol has a story. And today's story involves Japan, green tea leaves, and an absolute company monarch who was also beloved by his employees. Today, we are tasting the Suntory Roku Chin and the history of the Suntory brand starts in 1899 as the Tori Shoden store. And this was created by Shinjiro Tori. He is a man who was said to be quick to anger, but he also paid his employees a family allowance in addition to living wages. Also provided meals, which were said to be pretty luxurious for the time. I don't know, um, as I quoted before, he was supposedly a really quick-tempered man, but he did make up for it in some respects. He built Japan's first malt whiskey distillery, and this was the Yamasaki Distillery. Um, his production began on the whiskey, the single malt whiskey, in December of 1924. This whiskey, the Suntory Whiskey Shirofuda, was being sold about five years later after, of course, aged. But they didn't start producing this gin until about 2017. So this gin is named Roku, which means six in Japanese, and that's because it has six unique flavors that they decided to use to appeal to more of a Japanese palette. And these six flavors also supposed to represent the four seasons. So they are on the back of the bottle and it's the uh, Sakura leaf and flower, which is for spring, Sencha and Gyokuro tea for summer, Sencho pepper for autumn, and the Yuzu peel for winter. And as you can see, there's kind of their botanicals. And they also include traditional botanicals in this gin such as juniper, orange peel, lemon peel, coriander, cinnamon, and a few other ingredients as well. This Roku gin is produced in the liquor Atelia, which is in their Osaka distillery. This is kind of a specialized way that they are doing this gin. They actually um, have four distinct types of pot stills and the botanicals are distilled separately um, to basically highlight each flavor and feature of the botanicals and bring out their individual characteristics. Some examples from their website discuss the cherry blossom scent, which is drawn out through a vacuum distillation in a stainless steel pot still, versus uh, the yuzu peel flavor, which comes out from being distilled in a copper pot still. And then basically they take all of these different botanicals and blend them together to make this gin. They do put it through a bamboo charcoal filtration process as well at the end. Outside of Japan, the proof is 83% alcohol by volume, which is the one I have today, of course. It was also about $25 at my local Total Wine. What I do in my reviews is I let you know color, smell, taste, and if I would buy it again, which is kind of in my indicator if I like it or not. And then you can decide from there if you want to try it. So let's go ahead and look at color. I mean, this is a gin. It's going to look clear. And that's what it does. It It's very clear uh, gin. I don't see any issues with it. Smell-wise, I can already smell the juniper. <laughs> it's been sitting over here open for a little bit. And it's just wafting off. Um, but I will go ahead and go in for a smell and see if I can pull any of those other botanicals out. I'm definitely getting the citrus, like the orange and lemon peel, um, in addition to the juniper. I'm also getting the coriander, and maybe it's because I know that there's tea in it, and those are, um, green teas from what I read, that... Um, I'm kind of also getting like an earthy tea smell as well. Never underestimate the power of suggestion. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, especially in smelling and tasting alcohol, which is why I try and avoid um, when I'm looking up some of this research. I try and avoid any tasting notes, but I mean, still knowing what's in it could lead you a certain way. Let's go ahead and go in for a taste. Juniper is definitely there, but I actually tasted a lot of citrus. Mm. And it's really finishing on the citrus. The orange is finishing. Um, I definitely felt herbal in there outside of the juniper. So I'll have to go back in to get exactly what flavor it is. That finish is still going. It's, it's an orange finish. It's like an orange peel is in my mouth. So I don't know if that... Um, the yuzu is also an orange, plus it said additional orange peel, so maybe that's why. But wow, that finishes, it lingers. It's just now done, and I'm going to try not to cut this, so hopefully it, it's okay. Okay, let's go in for another taste and see if I can pull out those um, herbs. Oh, there's some coriander. I almost feel like I'm tasting the tea as well, like under the orange peel. It kind of tastes like you put an orange peel in your tea. Because um, there's kind of an earthy flavor in that as well. And actually, I probably taste the other flavors more than the juniper. I feel like the juniper is more on the smell and less on the taste. It's still there. I'm still tasting that pine taste. But with all the other stuff in it, I think it's actually toned down a lot. Um, very similar to the American style gin that I had before on the channel and I'll link that in the corner which is a local one that's an American type and I know they're doing more in the London dry type but with all that extra stuff in it I mean it's just it's almost overwhelmingly citrus more so than the juniper and I actually think that's really nice <laughs> because I said it in that video and I'll say it here the juniper kind of turns me off of London dry is not really my type of gin and so adding in all these other flavors made this really delicious and I really enjoy it so would I buy it again yes I definitely would and we've had it in some cocktails if you want to head over to my Instagram which is linked down below you'll see we had it with a local um tonic and it was like fantastic with that I think the main thing is it brought out that tonic was an Indian tonic. It had extra like citrus in it and this having citrus in it, it was like a really citrusy gin and tonic and it was really delicious. So I do know for a fact that this goes pretty well in cocktails. All in all, I would definitely buy it again. Um, it's really yummy. It's really citrusy. It's not as heavy in the juniper. I think it was really yummy and I hope you guys get a chance to try it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Cheers.